Hey guys, it's James Ballard from WildWings.co.uk and today we're going to be looking at the Immelmann and the split S turns. So these really work from your basic inside and outside loops that we developed uh, in the beginner section of the tutorials. So if you haven't seen those, go back and have a look at those, just refresh your memory. So what we're going to be doing with the Immelmann turn is we're going to come in level flight, lower down, not too low mind you, we're going to go into an inside loop and then at the top of the loop here, we're then going to do a half roll and then carry on flying at level flight. So the Immelmann turn and the split S turn really are linking maneuvers. So these are going to link your more complicated maneuvers together. And it doesn't matter how much of an advanced flyer you are, you might say, well, this is far too easy for me. Um, but of course, what you've got to think about is you might be able to do the really advanced maneuvers. You might be able to do some really knife, ed knife edge snaps. Um, you might be able to do your torque rolls and whatever. But if you can't link your aerobatic maneuvers together really nicely, um, then it's going to ruin your performance. So these sorts of maneuvers, the linking maneuvers like the Ormond turn, are really important to get your aerobatic maneuvers together and to really give you a solid performance. So let's have a look at this one in a bit more detail. You're going to come in level flight, okay, like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull up on the elevator to go into our inside loop. So remember, this time we want to be about half power. Now, as you go into your inside loop, you want to increase the power to give it enough speed to pull it up and round like that. So increase your power to about three quarter power, keep on the up elevator, bringing it round to about here, where you can let go of your up elevator. Now, at this point, you want to carry on flying inverted for a little bit before doing a nice controlled roll. Now, if you've previously seen the fast aileron roll tutorial in the beginner section, then you know that when you roll, you only correct on the upright and the inverted. So in this case, you won't be able to do any corrections other than a little bit of down elevator at the beginning to keep your nose up while you're rolling, and that will be sufficient. As you go further through the tutorials, I will teach you how to do a slow roll, which uses the rudder and the elevator to correct your rolls. Um, so you can go up and then you can correct with a rudder and elevator, and this just gives you a bit more precision. Um, so that is really needed for later on stuff. So when you see the slow roll, when you learn how to do that one, add that one in. And actually that applies to any kind of roll. Um, there's the four point roll and the eight point roll. You can do your Immelman turn into a nice eight point roll um, at the top or half an eight point roll or a four point roll. And you can really start to link all these maneuvers together. Again, this would go back to what I'm saying about linking the maneuvers together and having nice linking moves to make your performance really look good. So that's the Immelmann S um, turn, and the split S turn is the, well, the complete opposite. So we're starting up at level flight, and when we practice this one, we want to be practicing downwind. So you're coming downwind, you go about half power as normal. You're then going to do a nice controlled roll to inverted, and then you're going to use the up elevator to bring yourself round for the rest of this inside loop back to level flight. So once you've rolled to inverted, remember that you've got to reduce your throttle back to idle or quarter power. This point you really want to be on idle because you're dropping. So now you drop and you come back down. And at this point you can start to add your power back on half power, three quarter power and continue out at level flight. So that's the young woman turn and the split S turn. And they're really useful for linking aerobatic maneuvers together. So let's have a look at some footage just to clarify what I've taught you here. <laughs> 